outdoor entertaining, one of the most relaxing, fun ways to be with family and friends. And I'm with Linda De La Garza. She is my go-to expert for all things entertaining. Very, very creative. And one of your specialties is you can make a table look fabulous and spend very little money. Absolutely. So you've come to the EMS of, of party planning, okay? Entertaining made simple. So I always start off, Tandy, with a white slate. Even if you didn't have any white tablecloth, I've used curtains before, I've used sheets before. Black. Iron it, make it nice yes. and crisp. And we want kind of something modern and real refreshing. So I went with some silver chargers. And then all my dishes are white. So I go white because it goes with everything. And with the napkin, we went white again and we had silver chargers. Now you can play with this. Mm -hmm. And we chosen a tropical theme so we're gonna do kind of a seashore kind of pop there what we did with the centerpiece is get any glass jar get some shells fill your glass jar and bring that kind of tropical theme into the middle of your table I went to the floral shop and these tropical flowers are $1.50 okay I took a shell I put some little oasis in there and then I filled it with just two or three flowers is all you need to give it a pop and what we want to do is really uh, we want to showcase our food you know I know you're grilling and it's going to be amazing and don't forget the the sun glow you want to serve your guests something wowed as far as uh, a drink so here we have a gorgeous glass filled with limes, cucumbers, and sprigs of mint. Does yeah. that look amazing? It's beautiful. It just sets the mood, as does this incredible pool environment. It really does spiff up any backyard entertaining. <laughs> And I am with Keith Zars now. I call him the pool czar, Keith Zars Pools. He really is the man of all things beautiful that can transform your backyard. To talk a little bit about some things we might be thinking about, because I think it's everyone's dream, especially in this part of the country, to have a pool in the backyard. Well, thank you, Tanji. Yes, uh, some of the features that people are looking at that uh, kind of like a resort, they're bringing to their backyards themselves now, uh, like the beach entry or the Baja step. And where you can uh, have a lounge chair half in the water, half out of the water. A lot of them are putting uh, umbrella anchors in there so that uh, you can, if you want a sun, you can, or nice. if you want a shade. It's also, if you have small children, it's a great place for little kids to play. And then the umbrella helps protect them in the afternoon and well, stuff. And I think in addition to the obvious, you know, the heat in, in Texas, but it's, it's such a family gathering place when you have a swimming pool, isn't it? You cook around it, you entertain around it, and, you know, the kids and yourself can all swim. It's, it's just a, a great place to enjoy life. What are some of the, the points we ought to know if we're thinking about doing this in general? How much time does it take to get a pool in? It generally takes a couple of weeks in the planning stage and then maybe um, a week or two for permitting and then the construction part of it goes about four weeks. You'll spend more time outdoors and with friends and family. You look for reasons to entertain, oh, yeah. right? Yep. And it's a good way to cool off. You can run your air conditioner a little bit lower and it's a nice place to enjoy life. Keith, thank you. Well, thank you, Tangie.